Hello, and welcome to another Metaph Metaphysical Mystics class. Tonight we're going to be talking about scrying and divination, and we're going to be uh, kind of workshopping some uh, our own scrying and doing some of that, doing some of our own, kind of in our own way. Uh, scrying has been around for a long time. First time it was heard of was in the 10th century, but I think it's a lot older than that because it can be used, you can use anything to scry. If it has a kind of a fluid motion, you can read the leaves. You can read the leaves on a tree blowing Definition with the wind blowing. Scrying, whereby images are claimed to be seen in crystals or other media, such as waters or, and are whether interpreted as meaningful information. The information gleaned is then used to import decisions in one's life, i.e. love, marriage, finance, travel, business, etc. Yeah. Scrying. So yes, I mean, really, that, and that's what I try to explain to a lot of people when they want to know how to open up their abilities or their, their, those extra senses. I mean, some shaman have said we have over 20 senses, and I believe it. I mean, I, I feel like we do have a lot of senses we're not even awakened to, right. and that's really what we're doing is we're awakening to those other senses. Once we do that, we gain a deeper understanding and we can see things differently. So scrying is a good way to capture things in, within the ether, not in this dimension. Um, and peering, it's like peering through a portal in a way. It will, yeah. You're gazing through a portal. And that's when you're using your third eye, you're gazing through a portal. You're, you're looking at another place in time. So I wasn't sure exactly, I'm still not sure exactly how we're going to do it tonight, but I did kind of want it to be a collective. Um, it could just be a word. Um, or a question, and we can, you know, all set up. We're all going to need, uh, I'd like everybody to have a journal and kind of write these down. Or an audio recorder. And maybe just, just yeah, and we can even look and journal it later, but I feel like what you're seeing, make sure you're speaking it. Make sure you're you're talking it about it. it. We're all going to get a chance to kind of right. really focus because I don't, nobody's going to get out of here without really describing what they're seeing because it is. it does take, for some people, it's a little harder to get there because they don't trust yes. themselves. Well, and and yes, I mean it does come down to that trust as well. But yes, the trust. The training of the my physical body, even as I've gained more trust within myself, training my body to then relax in that trust has been very very difficult. So for a lot of people, it does take a long time, which is why scrying or crystal gazing and these things, these tools are so helpful and amazing for many, right? Because there are so many people out there that don't think that they can divine or they're not meditating or they're not you kind of have this image of what it's supposed to be not realizing that they themselves are doing it maybe it takes them a little bit longer maybe they need the smell and the sense and the scene maybe they need, you know what i mean like every person is different and however you relax and you can get yourself to just the best yeah, we'll work on some breathing act we'll breathe into it and uh get ourselves attuned to it a little bit more. But it, I, this is the best way to explain to somebody, like we have a crystal ball tonight. So we did last time, we're gonna take some pictures. We have some spirits, we have some, uh, some vino, some wine. <laughs> That's just for our <laughs> enjoyment. But really, uh, I want y'all to get creative tonight. I want y'all to out there listening later, get creative, like set up a grid of lights because we, we, we're using, we're going to be utilizing like flickering light, which is like a candle. Um, you can use a lot of things. If you want to use a strobe light, go ahead. And something that refracts that light or changes that light into something and morphs it. And that's why the crystal ball works well. You can use crystals. You can use a, a black, mirror. shiny black obsidian. You can use a mirror. You can use, I think if you don't have crystal, a crystal ball, a wa a water splashing and uh, candles, candlelight and in the dark. So we're going to be in the dark tonight for the most part by candlelight. Dim light. You want to be in a nice dim space, not only just for, you know, getting yourself into that relaxed state, but also to help with your visuals, right? To yeah. kind of help you to be able and you know, set whatever you're gazing into, whatever you've chosen tonight, whether that is a ball, uh, a stone, water, a mirror, whatever your choice of divination this evening is, 
Um, make sure you're setting it at a level that is nice and comfortable for you to just gaze at it, right? You don't want to be looking up at something so much that after 15 minutes and yet you're not quite in your space, you're getting a kink neck because now you're brought back down to earth. I got a kink neck and you know what I'm saying? So make sure you got it nice and like in a comfortable spot for you to just gaze at it. Awesome. So let's see here. Oh, I was going to ask everybody this week too. How's how's all yours? Uh, all yours. <laughs> How is everybody's focus wheel going so far in the last two weeks? I've been slacking on mine. I honestly, um, I when I've had a tough day mentally, um, you know, visualized all of those things, um, and went through the process of. You know the deal. Um, I honestly haven't had a chance to write it down. Okay. Black I mean, that's up to you. Whatever you know, it, it does help. You don't have to do it. Yes. Yeah. Elective. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. You can. You can. Ch you have a choice. So. But when you do write things down, um, it, it does. It gives you a certain power, especially when we're retraining our brain and we're trying to kind of reprogram ourselves, like I was saying with the whole relaxing thing. You know, I've gained some trust in myself, but my physical body still, it's still very reactive to when this state happens, I'm, uh, right? And it, so when we're retraining ourselves, when you write things down and you're able to kind of go back and look at it, it, it just, it helps to those neurons to spark, right? Sometimes people write worry lists, right? Throughout the day, whenever they get worried, they write the worry down as soon as they feel it. And at the end of the day, they kind of look back at it and go, oh, wow, I wasted a whole lot of energy on this thing because that wasn't even worth my time. And, oh, gosh, look at this. This actually that I tried to ignore over here actually needs my attention. You, you know what I mean? Like when you write things down and you are. That's an amazing idea. That is yeah. so, so smart. Well, when you work with yourself, you know, you, you, you work with yourself, <laughs> right? And, and our brains work in a certain way. And really, when you, when you write that stuff down and you're able to look at it, it just is, it's just easier to kind of help you balance and, and gain that perspective that you need to retrain your brain. And I'm, I'm seeing it work. I mean, I'm seeing it. It's like, it's really kind of making me focus on things that I forgot about, but I wrote them down, but I didn't pay as much attention to them. And so that's what I'm noticing this week is it's actually, I'm starting to pay attention where last week I was paying attention or paid more attention to what I was already there and what I was already present, what, what I'd already seen, but I just, I felt more appreciation and gratitude for it, for what I was already doing. Now this week it's more about, okay, here's what you have, but you really slack. So get to that part or start, you know, really focusing a little bit more on that, giving a little bit more time. So it's like I said, it's, it's happening quickly, but it's, it's slow or, or at a, at a pace that at least I'm, I'm perceiving it that way, which I'm sure is a big part of it. But as I'm perceiving it, it looks like it's just like incrementally just kind of changing things or, or pumping them up. Yeah. It's just kind of retraining yourself. Really. It's, it's giving yourself yourself that it's like having a calendar, right? You know, cause sometimes our days when we're reorganizing yourself, when we get like yeah, into a thoughts. program thing, and we're doing the same thing over and over again. We can lose track of what day it is. So we have calendars so we can look at the calendar and see, okay. And that's how we get trained on this. We have clocks that helps us to train for the, the timing we have. Yeah. It, when you, yeah. When you're take the time for yourself to just write shit down, whether it's something you need, something you're worried about, something, a goal, uh, you, a gratitude, however, you know, wherever you're trying to go, whatever it is you're trying to do, when you, give yourself the time to really write it down and then look at your process through a day, you can really understand yourself better, right? Because we do often give way too much energy to those fleeting thoughts, right? It triggers an emotion in us and, oh, oh, wait, now I'm just going to stick to this thought here, even though it makes absolutely no sense, you know? And so it, it just, yeah, when you can look back on that and you can go, oh, wow, that made absolutely no sense. It just helps us to go, wow, okay, hang on. I need to be more careful of where I'm just allowing things to trigger me like that. Yeah. That's so, so smart. That's such a good point. You guys you have amazing perspectives on things. 
well, this is what I love about this class. I think we we all can, you know, I want, I want everybody to, to be expressive and talk yes. and not just coming at it like inauthentically, like right. actually yeah. Yeah. To each other and, and sharing our experiences. Right. And through that, we learn even, even more. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to be able to say something and give you a picture of it and then allow, allow you to figure out your way. Right, most of kind it of in the like way that you, you see would it. like to do that, but right, yeah. But all these are, are all all of our projections. What we realize is we kind of go in, into this. You know, we have a lot of common perspectives yeah. on things, and I mean, it looks like we're you know we're a good team. Yeah. <laughs> we're good. It's a great class. Great, yeah, yes. great students. Yes. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so we are back on scrying. So. Oh, actually, I was going to ask. I didn't get to Christy yet. Christy, what are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes. What's going on? You've been quiet. No, I was staging, but I have to be really careful because the fucking fire alarms here go off all the time. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm going to so suggest something for you. I'm going to suggest... Yeah. That while you're in this apartment, when you buy your sage, maybe getting like the sage crumble. That way you mm-hmm. kind of, you can kind of administer how much you're using and how much smoke. Yeah, that's using. probably a good idea. Yeah. Or just cover up the smoke detector. Or cover up the smoke detector. Well, so I've done that and then I got in trouble and I got a lease violation for that. Oh, shit. But, okay, so I mean, yeah, you can't right keep it covered. You got to, you know, you, only when you're no, sage. I, I got stoned and I forgot to take it down. Yeah, we'll see right? That, that. I mean, and that's, yeah. <laughs> that's why I said I suggest the crumble because for me and the way I work, that would, if I were in a space yes. that I needed to be careful of that, that's, I, I just start, or even if you just buy a bundle, maybe just, you know, cut yeah. little parts off or something. That's or like, a good idea too. And just, I have a massive know, bundle, but that thing really caught fire just now. Like I wasn't ready for it to do all that. <laughs> right. But anyway, yeah. no, I've been good. Things have actually been like super, super good. So with my meditation wheel, I kind yeah. of like took it and then I, I put a spin on it uh, yeah. for my own way yeah. after yeah. class. And so I have just really <laughs> been fortunate. Like, I, I don't know what else to say. Like I have been manifesting things and it, it just, they, it just, it's it's really it just, crazy, but it's good. Yeah, it gives you like it, I feel like it gives you strength. Like it gives you more courage in your conviction and what you're doing. Right. Totally. Like it, it just kind of, it, I feel like it reinforces what you already want. But like you yeah. know, we get to these places where we're like, ah, uh, we I forget go to be on? grateful for all these great and things. When right? We, we, we forget to be grateful. I was I'm just giving wrong. a reading the other day to somebody, and they were saying. You know, I just haven't found a job yet, and I just can't figure out why. And I'm like, and we went through it. And we went, and I actually gave him the focus wheel. I was like, we yeah. should do one of these, so I had him do it. And, he's, and yeah. uh, anyway, he was like really kind of hesitant, like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, I talked to you a while ago, and I'm like, but the people people don't understand, or some people don't understand, right. when you get guidance from spirit or from a psychic, that's guidance. Like, if you're not. Right. You're just being rigid in your thinking, and that's what he figured out he was doing, was looking in one single direction, just right. kind of really trying to go after one thing that's not working or it hasn't worked yet, right. instead of expanding his his search for work. Yeah. He said he did that. La- I talked to him last night, and today he said, hold on a second, let me grab I want to I show you that. He'd like to do a quote as opposed to... Yeah, I want I want to quote it, yeah. So really, when we get in those places where we allow our emotions or just the humdrum or the heaviness that we haven't like, we're kind of imbalanced, we can we can forget just how grateful we really are for like everything, right? Like, And we should tweak it. Like we should tweak that wheel. Yes. To as your we own, go. however like, it works. Re-edit it and, and whatever's yeah. like leave what's not working or doesn't seem this to be like working. This is like a basic, yeah. Mm-hmm. And add to it. You know, yep. replace it with it's something super else. super cool. That's all I can say. It's like I have really seen some things happen that, I mean, it took me a couple of times to like realize, oh shit, like I did that. Yeah. And then, yep. you know what I mean? Then then you're like, yeah, I actually did that. And then the more I start to think about it, I'm like, dude, I just manifested about that a couple of nights ago. And so I really started yeah. trying to do more That's amazing. Than, well, I there's some crazy energy going on right now, too. Yes, so there is a remember, lot of I, mean, I know we're all, there's always some crazy energy, energy but yes. we've got an eclipse tomorrow, a lunar eclipse. Like tonight, tomorrow. My like birthday is tomorrow. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday. birthday. On a lunar, oh, yeah. on a lunar eclipse. Nice. Oh, That's awesome. awesome. Really cool. Thank you. 
that's awesome. So, yeah, and that's and, well, anyway. I was going to tell you what uh, his client said. He said because what I was telling him about it yesterday, he was willing to join and do it, mm-hmm. but he was like also being kind of like okay, whatever. okay, whatever, you know. But he, he told me today because he felt like he had a block, like something's just not happening for me. Mm-hmm. He said you were right about the focus wheel. I was able to quickly c- complete it. Once I got my goals down, filling in the supporting reasons I can achieve the goals were easy. So yes, now he's starting to see that. Wow, you had all these goals that you really, but you really weren't connecting the dots in yourself right, right. to get yeah. them. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah, it's the amazing. So I, I, I'm totally yeah. in love yeah. with the focus wheel. That's the first time yeah. I'd actually done one. I've done like writing down my goals before, but this. Well, see, and that's why journaling is so, so important. <laughs> using the symbolism so of the circles so and the twelve yes. sections mm-hmm. and the thirteenth in the middle, which is your. Mm-hmm. You know, and and, and in the I love statements, right? And being it's an artistic and way of doing it. Like it's, yes. it's got geometry. Mm-hmm. It's got yeah, and I and I like it. I think yeah. it's I think it's working great for me. But anyway, that's awesome. So, y'all got your stuff ready. What are y'all? What are you going to be using tonight, Jennifer, to scry with? Um, I've got a couple candles. Um, okay. I've got some paper and a pencil. And um, I was thinking about getting like a bowl of water. Okay. Yeah, so something to refract light or something that you can see, like if you want to okay. splash it and you're getting like the reflection of the light. Do you do you use makeup? Do you have like a base, you know, those little mirrors from the base? Yeah. Um, if you want to use one of those little mirrors with some water, dude, I'm telling you, you can if you can get it into a place where you can just kind of sit and gaze, it'd be that'd be awesome. So we're we're gonna figure out and I wanted this all this to all be amongst all of us and figure out where and we can ask more than one question, but what is it you guys want to know? I mean, what is it, Christy, what, you came up with the idea for this class this week, so what, what um, is it you want to know? Or we, we, you want us all to, to look into, to, yeah, yeah what, what wisdom do we want to gain? What, what do we want to contact? Who do we want to contact? I mean, any one of those. Jennifer, what do you think? Oh, I don't know. I don't either. Um, so we could go with higher dimensional but being. That's like on the other side of fear. That's like, how about we get to, um, let's just focus, focus on, on getting to that meditative state, first. actually. Let's okay. just focus on getting into that state. To where we're at least getting the blobs, right? To where we're, we're comfortable, we're seeing blobs, and just speak your stuff out loud. You know, don't worry about stepping on each other. Allow yourself to. You don't need it to be in a lotus position. You just, just need to get yourself into that state. Right? To where you can just gaze. Wherever you're comfortable, yes. And get, and get the place where you can gaze. Get your candles going now. Water, it's time to light involved. right now. And I'm going to take some pictures because I can. So I'm going to take some pictures and see what we can capture. Do you want to leave the uh, meditation? No. The breathing. The breathing. Yeah. It's breathing. I want this back here so you can see my Once right everyone's kind of ready, you guys are ready to kind of start breathing and getting into it. We will, we will start breathing. And the breathing techniques we're going to use are really just to kind of help get your breath to get you help in that state as well, right? We're going to, it's, it's kind of clearing the system in a sense, right? Just getting, yeah. So once everyone's ready, just let me know. Yeah, once you guys get set up and ready to go, you make okay. sure you find your comfortable spot. Um, I don't know if it will work. Hold on, I don't. Okay, night mode. Okay. 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 Dim down. Okay. 
I guess we could just turn this off if we want to. I'm just going to take some random pictures of the video. What's that? The TV itself, not like um, the TV, not the this. Leave this alone. No, I think we're good. I think we got low enough light. All right. I'm just going to take random pictures. If you guys want to in the group, go ahead and see what we see. Like I said, oh, we're getting, we got to do the. Once we get into our, once yes. everyone's kind of comfortable and they feel like they got everything they need. So we're going to keep it simple. What are we going to yep. do? Just the breathing. Right. We're just going to breathe and up. then just allow yourself to just kind of gaze. Okay. Now, a lot of people don't know if they're doing it right, whatever. A lot of people, for a lot, for most of us, it comes in like dark blobs or dark circles. You see the darker things, right? You start to see the shadows first. Um, when you start to see those shadows, just allow yourself to kind of go with it and, and relax into it and, and, and state what you see, what you feel, what you, whatever. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Is that both checks? Someone said something really quietly and I, I think I heard them, but... Is that, was that both of them saying? Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Okay, so once we're comfortable, just start kind of gazing. And we're going to start kind of with a mini breath. We're gonna, and then after you release that, we're going to go all the way in from our toes to our head. All the breath we can intake all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. And once we can't take in any more breath, we're going to hold this for one, two, three, four. And as we release this breath, we have to push it all the way out. Make sure nothing is left inside of us. Out, 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 out. One, two, three, four. In. Out. In. And out. Oh, I see a face. Look at a profile. Just start relaxing into your breathing. Relax into your gaze. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. At your own pace. Actually, see a call from my head, which is kind of cool. Just let your soft focus just softly focus. I'm not doing it to a point where it's like hurting your head. If you're starting to get that way, you're straining your eyes, yeah, and it's time to like close your eyes for a minute. Get relaxed and big. I'm seeing gold, like a gold mine, the inside of a gold mine right now. Glimmering like crystals, like looks like stalactites or stalagmites, whichever ones come up. So 
we're using the crystal, which would be earth, fire, and water. And earth. How are y'all doing? Good. So we're going to be. I'm looking as I'm looking in. I'm seeing a lot of things. Okay, so I just saw a gold mine. How about you, Christy, Jennifer? I'm seeing like I'm seeing a cross, like a golden cross with um, purple and blue clouds in the background, and then it goes into like the medical cross. With this. Okay, let's take some pictures here. I personally do a little bit of talking as well because I tend to meditate better. In so, you want to just, are you guys videos. seeing anything? What are you guys seeing? And it could be a feeling, it could just be. Just a knowing, you know, is it, it you're you're seeing it, or you may be seeing something, picking up on something, getting a voice. So I'm as long as we're just like, gazing into that. I'm seeing like dancing. If that cry. makes sense, because I don't know that I necessarily like. I don't see a shape, but I feel dancing and like swaying, probably just from the plane or stars. Planets. Okay, so seeing a heart. I don't know why, but I kept seeing a truck or a semi truck. It looked like a semi truck. Because we're just scrying, where there's no direction to it right now. You guys seeing the faces? I'm seeing faces and like beating hearts. <laughs> Can you hear me? Hello. Can you guys hear me? Aaron. Yeah, now you want to just focus on that mirror when that light reflects on the mirror. Can you guys hear me? Or even the flame. I'm getting some visions and then just, um, you know, feeling the peace and the things coming. If you spot something in the pictures, let us know. Speak it out loud. Okay. We are recording right now, so people are going to be here listening to this going, okay, but if they actually but created their scry, if they created their, yeah. yeah. I am sharing in here for those that maybe aren't here or like whatever. No, I was Christy having problems. Okay. Go ahead and leave and rejoin. Very cool. Oh, I see a face right there. It's like an animal. It's kind of an animalistic face. You see it? Looks like it's got horns. Ooh, that's a good one. There's an eye in that one. Big eye.
but it's she's back. And ladies and gentlemen, we are scrying. Okay, can you guys hear me? So now I would like to ask that we contact the beings from the lower world. Looks like they're wanting to come out anyway and play first. So the beings from the lower world for all of us, show us, show us yourselves. Let yourselves be known without putting in danger, just saying hi, not scaring anybody, we're just saying hi. As the flames on my candles get higher, we're just going to keep taking pictures. And yes, you guys remember that, yes, Aaron has been doing his third eye work for a long time. He's very fast. Don't feel pressure. No, I'm too. just taking pictures if to see if you're still it. trying to get comfortable. Yeah, you're still good. Get comfortable. There's just, no rate of yeah, speed we need exactly, to do this at. I'm just taking exactly. pictures. We're just sharing our experience, our, our stuff. Can you guys hear me? I often have to remember to breathe properly when I get unfocused. Just kind of relax into your gaze, right? Not necessarily a stare, but a soft gaze. As you breathe. Keep getting the eyes. Most people start with dark vibes, darkness, until you relax. Like I keep getting this, it's black, but I swear I'm seeing a call and I feel like there's magic I need to do. That's my message. Like, seeming to come across as I breathe and I can Kind of traced like around, like one looks like an alien head or, a, you know, one of those scary looking aliens. <laughs> the other one I can't tell yet. They're lower, lower world creatures. Not completely formed yet. Some are. Some are higher ascended, but they're taking care of that lower world. But there are a lot of creatures that haven't evolved to that point yet. Sorry, that was the glass. Or that was the pour of our box wine. What are you guys doing? Come on. Oh, shit. Christy, you're going to I'm just closing my eyes. Oh, and, uh, I don't know. If listening. You, is she at least hearing us? I don't think I did my right. I think she it says her mic's on. Right. I don't know if she muted it. Is it. Can you guys hear me? Well, I meant that while she was waiting to get in. There she is. What's going on, y'all? Talk, talk, talk. Let's hear it. What are you picking up, if anything? You... Norma only picked up a cauldron. Which is like kind of giving me the sense of I'm not doing enough of my magic. I need my space. To, I need to be doing more stuff. <laughs> oh, there they are again. That's the same one. No, we can't um, hear you. Yeah, darn it. Restart your phone. You're muted right now, though. Wait. That's why we can't hear you. Did we? Hello, we hello. See? Check, check. <laughs> no, she was unmuted just a minute ago. Are you sure, babe? Because I'm Christy, able to are you still trying to talk? She's, mm -hmm. just, she's laughing. 
What is the problem? Okay, let me reset this. Hold on one second. Okay, so you say hers is muted by her. Hers Jennifer, can you hear us? Yeah. I can't hear you guys. Darn it. TV. It's the TV. That's where the sound's coming through. Oh, shh, knockers. My gosh, yep. You're right. Hold on, guys. That's we were trying fault. to do some better lighting and, oops, forgot where our sound was coming from. Oh, my gosh. Of course. Duh. Sorry, guys. It was my idea. It's because I'm, TV. yeah, I'm not mastered Sorry. that yet. <laughs> All right, can you hear us now? Can we hear you? Hold up. Yeah, can you hear oh, me? God. There, we, there go. we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, dum dum dum. There we go. All right, Christy, we can hear you now. Fuck yeah, okay. <laughs> Just speakers and sound, like mics and speakers. I suggest that he turn off the TV to dim yeah. our light a little better because we are so directly close to it. And duh, our sound is coming from the So TV. what's going on? What are you guys seeing? I know that there's been some distractions. but So I saw in my fires, like, this red-haired girl that had freckles, and she was dancing, and there was, like, a horse. So I felt like maybe kind of, like, Indian vibe type of a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was kind of cool because they were, like, dancing in time with the flame. Oh, yeah, that's that was awesome. cool. Yeah, that was super cool. Need some more water, huh? Don't have hardly any in there. All right, so Jennifer, what are you picking up? Or are you still kind of just relaxing? Let's see if there's a theme here. We're going to lower world, so let's see if we're all kind of on the same page. I mean, I've kind of said a lot of things already, so. Um, I don't see many things, but you know. I am just closing my eyes and just um, visualizing because I don't think I did my my water ring and my candle I messed it up. So I'm just not um, seeing anything for some reason, or I'm reading it the wrong way. I don't know. Um, but I'm seeing like a figure with black hair from like the thirties. Um. You know, and I, I don't know if you heard me before, I got a vision with like a golden cross with um, blue and purple clouds behind it, almost like the sunset. Oh, awesome. And then it went into um, the medical symbol with the snakes around it. Nice. And you can play and, with your light. I mean, play with your light. I mean, you don't need water. You can do it just with a flame and just do that little here, right? flame meditation yeah. that we've done before. Yeah, but it, it really... Just play with the light. There's, like we're moving no the light around. We're, we're, you want to put it behind. If you've got a looking glass of some kind, you want to put it behind it so you can view the light behind it. But play with it. See where where it's working for you. Now move the light around. So it seems like I feel like I always end up like either in. Egypt or like something of those sorts because I always see just like the desert and the sand and then I always see the Sphinx and I see the Sphinx again. I'm seeing a little blue man. Like a little with the little hood on, like cloak. It's like he's got three eyes, but I don't think so. I think he's it's his third eye. Looks kind of reptilian, actually. Mm. Like a reptile kind of scaly face. fire behind him or what is that behind him let me see if I can try to take a picture of it I don't know if you guys can see it but let's see so I see a black worm with like a red glowing head which is so cool but it's got like a red glowing face and it's just That's like it. a thick worm enlarge that one but looks like a big peach Right. 
and the more you relax and just get dive into it and just let yourself sink into it that gaze the more you do it the better the more you see all right we're going to move on to hmm, i keep seeing something here it's like jellyfish like orange jellyfish i can't I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but I'll try. It's picking up something right there. Let's see if I can get it. You want to zoom in on that picture that I just sent? Christy and Jennifer, and tell me if you see anything. Yep. Let's see where I'm at right here, right there. Ha! <laughs> Right it looks like feet. a mushroom, almost. Yeah. Right off the bat, you can see the eyes. Oh, wow. Right. You guys look at that last picture. There's a being right there, like kind of floating through in the dark area. I see a face now. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a face on the ball. It looks like Pac-Man kind of. It was, I'm looking at yours. It looks like a woman sitting up in bed right there. It almost looks like a fetus and embryo. Yeah, it does yeah. kind of. I was noticing that earlier. I see a Pac Man face, two eyes. That's the first thing I saw was that Pac Man face. So we're in higher dimensional beings now. Let's go. Let's move on to higher dimensional beings. Contact us through our gaze. Allow us to see through that portal and see you. I mean, you can already see us. Huh. So this last one that you just sent, if you yeah. look in, in the dark part that looks like, like a jelly bean, if you look inside that, you can see a face of like, I don't know if it's an angel, but you can see the face and she's sitting with her knees up like against her chest with her arms around her knees. Yeah, she's sitting up on it looked like a woman sitting up on a bed, huh? Yep, yeah. Or actually probably just yeah, yeah. like sitting right there. Yep. Yeah. That was lower world, so we're probably, yeah, dealing with like middle world or, mm -hmm. which is kind of that where we're at, but we can't see the fairies. Sometimes mm -hmm. we can. Well, there's a ghost right above that too. Look at that little white dot that's above the jelly bean looking thing. Yeah. You can see its profile. I can see the eye and then half of its mouth. Jake. Yep. All right, I'm going to take some pictures now. We we're doing the. Uh, Higher realm, higher world. And I'm just taking random pictures. When it seems like it's right for me, I'll just take it. And I know our computer screen's kind of messing with stuff, but there's still stuff in there. Kind of, likes look, kind of looks like looking down at a globe. Like there's a globe within the crystal. You see that? Like half of a globe? Yeah, that is cool. But if you look deeper, you can see stairs. If you look a little, look gaze a little I further like, in. I see mountains behind it. With like I see stairs going upwards. Hold on a second and I'll show you. See if I can try to trace them without taken too much away from it. Let's see. I see a dragon too. Wow. Wow. You guys see the stairs? No. Well, I, if it's what I think you're talking about, then yes, but I don't know if it's the yeah. same thing. This is the sides of the stairs. It's coming down just like this. Just go back and look at that after you, um, after I send this one, because I've drawn mm -hmm. over it, but Okay. Look at the original. Oh yeah, huh? Stairway leading up upward. Step out, yeah. See, okay, wait, let me draw the picture. Okay. Perception so is everything. Going like we need a soul link. We need to connect. I'm seeing a face too now. I'm seeing a. 
woman with kind of a tank top, or it might be a man with a tank top on. I'll show you. Hold on a second. Um, who was I? Enlarge the picture. I'm not seeing it. So I said one of the stairs that that's what the stairs look like to me. Like it's like squiggly stairs. Yep. But wait, I have to show you this because there's a snake looking at us. Okay, there's a snake face. Like I just drew it's really bad drawing. <laughs> but there's a snake face. Let's go have a look. The original. Oh, that was like a brain. Very cool. Very cool. So this is scrying, y'all. Look at that last one. What do you get out of that last one I just sent? A brain. A brain. Nice. I keep That's getting the, black... the Indian, the balance. The black stars, you see that black spot is what's calling me over to that spot. Seems like I can see a star right there. You see a little fleck? Yep. Yep. It's going out into space. Yeah. Like it's a period. It's that portal. If you look at the right side, you see that little white, like, cloudish type thing on the top, like, right-hand corner? If yeah. you look at that, it looks like there's a dark eye and, like, an orange nose and then, like, a weird smile. Like, it's all the profile. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. just, I think that might be exactly what I'm trying to give you. Oh, right when now. you turn the picture, oh, my God. I see. Honey, come look. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Okay. You see that being right there? Mm -hmm. It looks like a hippo man. He's got his, like, belly sticking out and his pants on. Hold on. I can see that really well. Looks like he's praying. He's got his hands together. Whoa. That, okay. Let me see if I can fix this. I'm going to show you in a way. Can I make this smaller? I'm not sure. Like the brush? I don't know. I think my trying to show my stuff maybe covered it up too much. But. Hold on. So I'm going to show you guys something. Check this out. It's right here. But he's like. It's, here's, uh, let me see if I can trace him. He's a man, though. If you go back and look at the original, some type of being. I make his arms. I'm going to like, just highlight his elbow and his arms. Well, I'm, I'm going to send it. I haven't sent it yet. It's a man kind of facing. He's like, kind of looks like an ogre now that I've traced him. But go back to the original and see, like, he's actually got blue, a blue clothing on, on his, like, his legs. Like, he looks like he's wearing, like, a overalls. Yeah. That's exact, okay, so that's exactly the same spot for the person I see, but I see a profile. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to pick up a lot of different beings, so. How exciting, dude. Very cool. Okay. See what else I can pick up in here. That You're is in the so higher horrible, dimensional. What's that? That, that? Okay, so the one I just said doesn't like anything like what I see. I don't know what just happened. But you can see his eye and his nose and his mouth. It's in the same spot where yours is just the profile instead of like the whole ensemble. Oh, you're seeing like a head from above now. That's, that's kind of maybe what she, she may have cut before I did it. Yeah, it's, I'm not the very, a very good. Like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Yep. He's coming in. It looks like he's got a fur around his neck. Yeah, and he's got like an orange nose. Like there's orange yeah. on the bridge of his nose. That's and a blue nice. eye. That color is what I kept seeing. Oh, you. S oh, yeah, babe. You picked one up. Who is that? Somebody that's pat. It looks Native American. Holy oh, shit. That's cool. Native American or. Um, did you send it in? I did. Or uh, like kind of like look at this like as so I'm looking at the hair and like the eyebrows they similar to Native American but it might be like Roman. That's or Greek. Cool. I can totally see that too. Yeah, crazy. Nice. And they've got a hand up too. See their hand. Yeah. Smoking. Yeah. What are they smoking? Look like their fingerprints are up. They're smoking. So they're smoking Maybe. something. Look at how they're they're yeah. smoking. Of course. That's are. awesome. <laughs> Okay, if you look to the right of that face, 
like there's like in the center it has like the brighter like circle of pink if you go through that and then immediately look down it looks like this is gonna sound really weird but it looks like finding nemo but he's got like black ray-bans on and his mouth yeah, is yeah, I see that. Yeah, and his mouth. Okay, is now looking about that profile that we just saw, the, the yeah. profile of the one that Norma just shared, and I said it yeah. kind of Native American or yeah, Greek. There's a there's an alien right above him, or like a gray. See that little yeah, knob that. on top of it? It looks like yeah. coming in from a like totally a doorway or something, a doorway of light. Yep, yeah. I totally see that. Awesome. Do a couple more and then we will finish for the night. But this, this was fun. Good idea on the uh, scry tonight. Christy. Oh, okay. Higher dimensions. I am just going to go ahead dimensions. and trace out some of these things that I'm seeing. I don't know exactly what they are. And, and I'm going to hope that they kind of make sense after. <laughs> that's how I feel about Yeah, that's movie. what you do. You just take pictures randomly and then you go look at them later. The best way to do it from before that's pretty good. I like that. Ah, Jennifer, I see a snake on yours. <laughs> Why do we keep seeing snakes? <laughs> <laughs> snakes are very sh shamanic. Nemo with Ray Bans is right up front in that one. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it is. yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, Jennifer. She keeps the she's seeing the fetus again, too. <laughs> Dude, you guys on the purple one, it looks like the predator. The one right above Jennifer's, it looks like the predator. Yeah, it does kind of, doesn't it? Trace it. With neon hair. <laughs> Jennifer, yours looks like lava. I like it. There's a blue haired woman right there. Mm -hmm. Yep. With blue face or gray face. <laughs> Oh, those are wings. They look like wings. Look at that. Looks like wings, the blue part. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to send this in. Hold on. Looks like a head of a woman. Check that out right there. You may see something else. Ooh, I like that one. Did you get that one? Ooh. Yeah, that's a good one. You got the water in that one, too. I see a whale in that picture. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> like yeah, that's why I circled it. Like, it's like you can see the black part the top. It's like Shamu kind of like he's black on top and then like a little white bottom. And you can see one of his eyes looking like towards us. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Does that look like angel wings or somebody's face? It looks like both of them. I saw the face first. Yeah, the way the candle wax is making that. Yep. What is that that you got in that one, honey? What'd you pick up on in that one? It kind of almost looks like a pterodactyl or something. If you look at the one that I think that one. And understand there's so many layers. You can pick up so many different things from the same spot, too. But we're getting, you know, oh, this that's is... that's strange. What's that? The original picture didn't show back up with it. But the pterodactyl did, or, or the or the drawing did what I was seeing. <laughs> right on. <laughs> awesome. Well, another great night. Thank you all for being here. Yeah, you guys. Thank uh, you. That was fun. Sorry for getting uh, taking so long to get going, but no, it was fun. good. Had a little contact. We'll probably, if you want to continue, have some more contact. Yeah. You've seen them now. What are they trying to say to you? Yeah, crazy. Well, it doesn't matter how long it takes, just relax. Yeah, into it doesn't it. matter how long it takes. You can still do this after we're done. Yeah, that was fun.